When developing a logotype of the Genocide Centennial, we took into consideration the fact that it should be a mediator between our people's past, present and future. Purposely, we chose a symbol in the shape of forget-me-not flower. In different languages, the flower name conveys the same meaning. And this is the focal message of the Genocide Centennial. Five leaves of the flower symbolize five continents where the genocide survivors found a shelter being deprived of the opportunity to live in their homeland. They spread all over the world and later united themselves into a big Armenian diaspora. And today, people dwelling on the five continents still demand recognition of the genocide under the slogan, I remember and demand. The main color palette of the symbol consists of violet, light violet, yellow and black. Each of the colors conveys a certain meaning. The color black symbolizes the horror of the genocide and the memories of that crime, the past. The inner light violet in the shape of rays stands for a unifying idea, the present. We suggest using violet as a dominant color of the symbol. It is widely used in vestments worn by the priests of the Armenian Apostolic Church, which is a basis of Armenians' self-consciousness, the future. The color yellow symbolizes the sunlight, which gives a hope to live and create. It is represented by cyclically ordered 12 stylized pillars symbolizing the genocide memorial, the eternity. How to make Forget-Me-Not from paper In order to make the symbol of the 100th anniversary of the Armenian Genocide, the flower Forget-Me-Not from paper, A4 size paper should be folded and divided into two parts, and then divided again. One of the divided parts of the paper should be folded again. Again fold in the middle and you will get a paper fourfold. Next, open the last fold. It will emphasize the boundaries between the petals of the forget-me-not. The two-layer paper should be folded with the slope corner to the left, so that the right corner turns into a triangular image, which should be folded from left to right to get a large image, the narrow part of the triangular shape. The next step, turn the entire fold and fold along in the middle. Then make a semicircular cut with scissors in the middle. Reach the center, make a heart-shaped cut, and continue to cut, but in the left side, replacing the semicircular cut with straight. Next, open the fold, Paint the flower in corresponding colors and the paper forget-me-not is ready.